Hello everybody, my name is King Kuala. Hope you're having an amazing day and of course we're here at some GTA Online. Now I'm sorry that this video was pretty late compared to these past couple days, but um, I, I'm not gonna lie, for the past like four hours I've been trying to get my hands on this car, if not more, right? This is the BF Club. This is this week's Casino Podium Vehicle. I actually really like how this looks. It's the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1, and I love how it looks, right? Unfortunately, it took me forever to get it off of the Casino Podium. So like I said, this video is just gonna be up a little later than expected, but you know, things happen. If you guys are new, consider subscribing as I do post content like this daily. This car is usually, I believe about like $1.3 million, so it is pretty expensive. Um, I didn't want to spend more money. Of course, you guys uh, you guys will see in a second once we get to the shop. I have about $8 million, so it's not like I couldn't buy this car. But you know, if you can get it for free, why not? I like this car. This car is pretty cool. Um, I went through, I mean, a lot to get this car, but we got it. Pretty nice car. I like the vibe of it. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, not the biggest fans of these kinds of cars. I don't really know what you call this. It's a compact car. It's a, uh, you know, it's a little baby car. That's what we, what it really is. I'm excited to take a look at this. Of course, it does come with a nice little flame livery, and we're gonna see how the we can customize it. LS do for you. I'm very excited with this. This is a small car. Look how small it is compared to that dude. Compared to me driving it, but. You know, it's a cool little car. We're gonna take a look at it. Um, it has some pretty good stuff right off the bat. I it does have liveries. Cool, cool, cool. Fifteen. All right, let's take a look at it. The stripes retro right off the bat. I already like how this looks. Some Steven Universe vibes. Uh, we got the half tone flames, which is what it comes with. The, the Jackal Racing retro, which is just a you know nice little racing one. Has a little Jackal in the front. <laughs> Sticker down. Los Santos Customs, which has a nice little logo on all sides. Little LSC in the back. The War Club, pretty cool. I actually like that. The Beater, which is rusted up. The Old Reliable, which is even more rusted up. And then the Junkyard War Dog. Now, right off the bat, just, you know, throwing them out there. Pretty standard, I guess. You know, this has a cool little lining, a lighter lining on the side, right under the Los Santos Customs. That's cool. I like, um... This one, I like the Stripes Retro, that's pretty cool, it gives it an old vibe, uh, which we might go with. And then I also really like the, <laughs> I like War Club. And let's get to it, this so full. Ooh, ooh, the carbon panels, stock door panels. Oh, nice, okay. We're gonna have a nice little trunk. This is a hatchback, of course. Carbon trunk and doors. Oh, so, okay, so the panels, it's divided into two sections in this one body work. So it's either stock, sticker, or carbon panels. And then of course it goes to the door and uh, trunk, and then you can do it in a two in one combo. Uh, we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna see what kind of colors we go with for the, for the cool look. Front bumper, remove bumper, which is actually kind of cool for its time. This is a older, older car. Chrome stock, we got the low level, full bumper. Full bumper is nice, hold on. Full bumper is my favorite so far. Um, let's see, okay. Carbon racing bumper. Oh, the mount mounted oil cooler, that's cool. A racing kit, nice little, what is that? The inner cooler competition kit. Um, I like the, I like the full bumper. Full bumper is actually really cool. We're gonna wait on this to see what the if we can get like uh, fenders. Oh, we can get fenders. Okay. Um, EMS upgrade. We're going for the exhaust. Then we're gonna go with the track exhaust. I like how that looks. Sorry about my allergies, y'all. It's you know seasonal allergies. Uh, we got full covers for the fenders, half covers, and then none. I like the full covers. I'm not gonna lie. Headlight. Oh, we could get crossed. Ooh, primary lids. But it's not often that I get to see this, and this looks pretty cool. So we're gonna get the cross tape for our hood. We could remove it. Uh, we could do a lot on the interior, so we will save that. Is this a tuner car? Like a tuner category car? Skinned hood. Um, we're gonna save it for now. I like how the low level vented hood looks. I don't wanna be basic and just go for uh, carbon, but you know, we, we might, we might. Ooh, like a cream. I like the cream. We're gonna go with the cream for now. The carbon trunk, definitely. 
But maybe the door is... Yeah, I think we're gonna go carbon everything. And then, let's see, for our hood. I love this. The black and cream is actually a nice color. If we can do anything for the roof, it's gonna be great. Oh my god. Right on cue. Uh, louvers. Let's see. Chrome roof rack. Mobile rave station. And then this is like the track day type thing. Should we put louvers on? I was kind of hoping there'd be like a spoiler. <laughs> it's, it's just right on cue. Okay, hold on. Uh, so there's none for stock. We could get a roof wing, which is likely what I'm going to be going with. Oh, that's cool though. Competition. This is nice. I don't think I'm gonna go with that. I want a roof. Spoiler. Carbon covers. We're gonna keep it open, but we are gonna put a sun strip on. Suspension, boink, sha boing boing. I always drop it down all the way. I'm sorry, not sorry. Watch the clutch. Turbo. We'll do wheels in a second. Um, we're gonna keep it see through. Because I like how it looks. For. I feel like I skipped something. This. Yeah, we're gonna go with a full bumper. Full bumper is cool. And then for the wheels. What are we gonna do for the wheels? We should keep it kind of, like I said, pretty under wraps. Nothing too distracting. Ooh. The Fajorme. Fajorme is cool. Let's see, what do we do for our colors? I feel like we're gonna do this now because that blue trim is insane. Yeah, we're gonna do this. And look, the wing has the LSC on it too. Um, now let's go do our wheels. Maybe change the color to like a nice baby blue. And on whether you want it to stick out a lot or not. We're gonna go baby blue because that matches that color a lot better. And then let's take it over to HSW. This is our initial build. This is nice. I like this car. This is a cool car. Let's see what it sounds like afterwards, y'all. Weird camera angle on this. Well, it is compact, so you can't expect it to be super crazy. Not bad on the handling. Alright, let's go. Alright, and we're here, y'all. That was a fun ride. I love this car already. Not the craziest speed, obviously, but for a compact car, this thing has excellent handling. One of the coolest, of course. Um, for our car, I think we're gonna go with the like electric blue. That's probably the best bet. Um, we could also go with something crazy like black light, just to so off throw it and make uh, attention stick out even more. We could also go with maybe like the golden shower lights. I always like those the beautiful orange color. Um, but I think we're going to go with the electric blue. If you guys do have a crew color that is a tan color, then of course that is something you can take advantage of. You know, otherwise, I don't think this needs a neon kit. It is definitely a car that could suffice without one. I'm going to put the electric blue on just because I know that's one of my most common colors. This is a great car, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is King Quaddle. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you guys are new, consider subscribing as I do post content like this daily. And here it is, the final BF Club. Now, I know this is a small car. It is a compact, obviously. So it is going to be one of those cars where you're going to fit it into every place. If you're trying to find parking, you know, just pick it up with your hands and place it down. I love this car. This is by far the best compact car. One of my favorite builds that I've ever done. I mean, this thing is just so nice. Like I said, the best compact car without a doubt. Actually has surprisingly great handling skills. The speed is not the craziest, but of course on turns especially, it is a great car to have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Adios. And then of course, until next time. Bye bye y'all.
Sorry, I forgot to put tiger smoke on this thing. Alright, goodbye.